Hello friends, welcome to our new topic fluid statics. Here we will learn about fluid when it is in rest that is the flow is not there the velocity is zero. So to learn about this first we, we will learn about Pascal's law. Pascal's law states that fluid under, under static has pressure which is equal in all direction that is Px is equal to Py is equals to Pz is equals to P where Px is pressure along x direction Py is pressure along y direction and Pz is pressure along z direction and P is the total pressure now the application of Pascal law is basically used while lifting the cars if the pressure applied here is F1 and the cross section area here is A1 and the lifting force here is F2 and has cross section area of this portion is A2 then by Pascal's law we know that P1 is equals to P2. Now pressure is written as force by area which is F1 by A1 is equals to F2 by A2. So the lifting force F2 will be A2 by A1 into F1. Now since the area A2 is greater than A1 so the lifting force will always be greater than the applied force. Hence with the small amount of pushing force we will get a huge amount of lifting force. So the heavy objects like cars and all can be lifted easily with small amount of force. After Pascal's law, now we will learn about hydrostatic law. Here, take a cylindrical fluid element with of height dh. The pressure difference as dp if the density of the fluid is rho and g is the acceleration of gravity then the hydrostatic law says that dp by dh is equals to minus of rho g. Here, minus sign indicates as the height increases, the value of pressure decreases. Now, it can be written as dp is equals to minus of rho g dh. Now, integrating both sides from p to 0 and 0 to h, we get p is equals to rho g h. This is the static pressure of fluid at any point. One of the best and interesting example of hydrostatic, hydrostatic law that we have used in our childhood is with balloon filled with Now take a balloon filled with water, make a hole here, here and here. The water will come out from all these three holes. Let the height from here be H1, H2 and here. H3 respective pressure will be P1, P2 and P3. Now we will find that the water coming from water coming out from hole number 1 will be high while from hole number 2 will be slightly less and from hole number 3 will be very less that is the pressure at 1 will be high 2 will be slightly less and from 3 it will be very less that is at the as the height increases the pressure will decrease so high amount of water will come from here from here it will be slightly less and from here it will be almost through the surface. This is the childhood example that we have done 
very so many times in our childhood filling a balloon with water and then bursting it now we have come to an end of fluid statics here we learned about pascal's law its application and hydrostatic law and it's one example the detailed application of hydrostatic law can be seen in manometer which we will be teaching you in the next tutorial thank you